Hey guys, so I'm going to talk to you today about dry brushing. So this might be something that you already have in your daily routine. It might be something you've never even heard of, and it might be something that you didn't realize that you could do using your oils. Um, so there's a few ways, a few different types of brushes you can use. Um, so first one I've got here is a, this is a nice big, it's quite a stiff bristle brush. Okay, so it's a nice deep one. Um, I like the fact with the handles that you can reach those hard to reach areas. And um, sometimes it's a bit nicer with the areas of the body that you can, um, like the arms and things that you can um, use one that goes on your hand. And if you were lucky enough to get one of the doTERRA ones um, that we had, I think at Christmas or November time, um, this is one of those. This one actually say, this is a wet one that I keep in the shower. Um, and then I use the other one for dry brushing outside the shower, but it's completely, you could be using this one for the dry brush as well. Okay, so dry brushing is really great to be able to cleanse um, and it's good practice um, to get used to it every day, exfoliating the skin and it also improves lymphatic drainage. Um, the lymphatic system is quite similar to like, the circulatory system. It makes up a huge, huge part of our body and all the way across your body, you have little tiny lymph nodes um, if you look at the lymph system, it kind of goes all the way up. You have some like the bigger lymph nodes are sort of under your armpits and in your groin. Um, and they're the areas that we want to get the um, liquid to, to get our lymph, lymphatic system to be getting rid of any excess liquid. Um, the lymphatic system also really, really helps your circulation. The two work very well together. So if you um, get into a really good habit of dry brushing, um, particularly if you have cold extremities, um, it is gonna help that as well. Um, so, Generally, we always brush towards the heart. Um, what we want to do is try and picture that your body is in quarters, okay? And we've got these four big lymph nodes that we want to use. So we want to be going towards the heart, but we also want to be brushing towards these lymph nodes. Um, and that then allows us to get rid of more um, waste out of the lymphatic system. Um, you, like I say, you don't want to brush too hard, um, but you want it hard enough to actually cause um, a bit of um, friction to your body. Now it's up to you. Some people say start at the feet and start at the feet, um, but I'm going to say today that we're going to start at one lymph node and we're going to start at the top. So you've either got this type of brush or this one. Obviously you would normally be doing this without clothes on, slightly inappropriate for my video. So I'm going to do it over the top of clothes. Why well, is it might be a little bit wrong? Um, so we're just going to, um, just to show you. So it's just gentle brushes and this side, we're going towards this lymph node. Okay, so we can go across. Um, but when you're going on your arms, we're not going down our arms because that's not taking it towards your lymph nodes. We're still going up. Okay, so we're gonna start with that upper arm first. Okay, and some people like to do this for a few seconds. Some people like to do this for a matter of minutes. Um, it's completely up to you and um, what you want to do. So this is just your general brushing technique. Okay. And then are you going to then move on to your lower arm? So the next one is your lower arm and then your hand. Um, and then you would move across to the other side and do the same. And we really want our stomach area again to be going towards those lymph nodes. So everything's going upwards on our stomach. Just showing you how to do it. And then I'm going to incorporate, show you the oils after of which ones are fantastic to use and how to use them. So this one, you're still, you're going up towards those lymph nodes and we're going to go up. I like to spend a large amount of time on my stomach um, because we want to be able to shifting a lot of that out. Um, then obviously you would now do your back. Um, I'm then going to show you your legs. So I'm sorry, get my leggings here. So again, you've got these lymph nodes in the tops of your legs. So we are going to start at the top of our legs and we're going to bring it up. And you're just going to keep doing that all the way around. Okay, all the way around your legs, particularly across up that buttock, so up your bum. And then the same um, on the lower leg. Try and get my leg up here. Same on the lower leg. And then you're gonna then do the same on the feet and bottoms of the feet. Um, some people also like to, um, you can also do dry brushing on your face. Um, it depends on how sensitive your skin is. Um, these type of brushes are a bit too coarse on my face. I wouldn't like to do that. So I stop at the neck. But again, from the neck, you are wanting to go down into towards the heart and towards those lymph nodes. So that is the direction that we're doing. That is how we're doing dry brushing. Little, nice little strokes and we're bringing that up. So now obviously we want to bring in our oils. Okay, so this is obviously what we're here for. We want to show you 
one, how dry brushing is amazing, but we're now going to take you up another level and teach you how to incorporate the oils that you have into your dry brushing. So some of my favorite, again, you could pick any oil, whatever oil suits you, whatever oil calls to you is perfectly fine. If you have something, a hot oil, like cinnamon or deep blue and things, then you might wanna mix this with carrier oil before you do so. Um, so I would personally, I try to avoid the hot oils in this process. Um, I like things like grapefruit. Grapefruit is known really well to help with cellulite. Um, so it's an absolute amazing one to be using on our dry brushing. Um, a really easy way to put your oils on, there's a couple of ways. One is just to open your oil and literally just drip it on top of your brush, okay? The second way is to put it on your hand. And again, you can add some carrier oil if you wanted to, um, and then rub it into your bristles and do it that way, okay? So it's in your bristles. So it's there now, it smells amazing. I would then continue my dry brushing that way. I'm putting this on now because I'm about to have my shower. Um, so I thought I'd do it at this time of night. Um, I've done a nice long walk today, so my body's craving for this before I um, have my shower. Um, so this is grapefruit. Some of the other ones that are really good are lemongrass. Lemongrass is really, really good um, for the circulatory system. It's really good for the lymphatic system. Um, it's really gonna boost this um, dry brushing and getting um, things out. Um, so lemongrass, again, I'm just, to be honest, I'm gonna use a bit of them all because I can, because I'm showing you. Um, so some lemongrass. Lemongrass is amazing for um, lift, getting the, getting the body moving. Um, next one is cypress. Cypress is another absolute amazing one for the lymphatic system, um, getting everything where it should be going. Um, absolutely fantastic for this. So we're gonna use that cypress. Um, then we have two blends that I recommend. So the first one is Aroma Touch. Aroma Touch has things like cypress in it. Um, it's really, really good. Um, and it's ready made for you as a blend. I do try to look for doTERRA blends. It will save you a fortune. It's got lots and lots of oils on here. Okay. Um, and then the other one is Smart and Sassy. Smart and Sassy is our metabolic blend. So it has grapefruit in there already, and it's actually going to help that cellulite and um, moving your metabolism. Um, it's also really good. This one is for internal use as well. Um, and have that in your water daily, um, especially if you want to boost your metabolism. Um, so these are the ones that I'm going to use. Okay, so I'm gonna pop those on my brush as well. Um, after you've dry brushed, it is, um, obviously it's good practice to dry brush before your shower, because um, if there's any, all that dead skin that's coming off, you can then rinse off. And then when you get out of your shower, um, I highly recommend um, using moisturizing cream. Um, I'd use doTERRA one. Um, I tend to use, if I quickly grab my, This is like a daily pot of cream next to my bed. As you can see, we just dip in this every day. This is just like hard pressed coconut oil. Um, I make this one with um, lavender tea tree frankincense. And this is actually Elliot's eczema skin one. So I actually also put in yarrow palm um, and copaiba in there as well. And I think there might even be a bit peppermint possibly in this one. Um, again, it's up to you what you want to put in your creams but I'd totally recommend just having a completely natural cream for after you've finished. And this will soak into your body and you will feel amazing after you've done it. Um, so I've kept it quite simple. I've not gone really deep into the oils. If you do want to know more about each of those individual oils, then do reach out to your wellness advocate or you can look them up in the books. Um, but yeah, I just, I want to concentrate more on the technique and why we're doing it. Um, more than the in-depth of oils of course I'll be here all day um, and you know I love to talk about my oils and um, so if um, if you want to know a bit more about those specific oils then um, you can always comment on this video and we will send you some more information on those specific ones and um, so I hope you're having a great day I'm gonna go and get in my shower and um, sorry for the state of me in the bathroom and um, hopefully it's not too echoey and look forward to seeing you later bye